Hey guys, let's make first person vaulting or wall climbing in Unreal Engine 5. And this is how it looks. Let's get started. Let's open the first person project that we're making. And inside blueprints, let's open the BP first person character blueprint. Here we are going to make a new function. Now let's call this function vault trace. Here we are going to do a line trace from player to a distance to check if there is a an obstacle in our way or uh, a wall to climb we could do this trace in the event graph but uh, we are going to use this trace in one more place so let's just make uh, it a function here we are going to do line trace by channel now start location will be our actors location so get actor location And to get the end location, let's get actor forward vector. This is the direction that our player is facing. Now we need to multiply it by some number. I'm going to multiply it by 100. So let's convert this pin to float. 100, you might want a different number. So this is how long I want the line to be. Now we need to add it. And the result will be the end point for the line trace. Now let's compile and we want to add some outputs. So we want the out hit and return value to be an output. For that, let's add uh, a hit result struct. So here we can see the type is hit result structure. So change the type to hit result structure and let's just say this will be out hit result and let's add a boolean this will be a boolean and let's say this will be it boolean by save now this is the return node that it gets made here so let's get it and connect the out hit result and result value to hit boolean. Also, let's connect these pins. And that is our vault trace function. Now let's also draw it for duration so we can see the line. Now let's get back to the event graph. Here we will make a custom event. And let's name the event vault. So we need a new variable. So here we had these variables that I just put under grapple category. You can click these. If you have these, you can click these and uh, set the category, type it here. So let's uh, make a new variable. This one will be a Boolean and let's say can vault. Compile. And by default, can vault will be true. So let's tick this. By default, when the game starts, we can vault. Now we need to check it. Get a branch. And if we can vault, we will immediately set it to false. Because we don't want to spam the vault. Now let's add a timeline here. Let's say this will be vault timeline. And play from start. Here we will use the vault trace function. So in update, we will get the result of our trace. And you could break the out hit result. So you could, for example, break hit result and see all of these variables. And then you could put a tag on an actor and then check the tag here. But I'm not going to do that because I want my character to be able to climb basically everything. So I'm not going to do that. You could, for example, do this actor has tag and then use it in a branch, for example. But I'm not going to do that. I'll just check this boolean. So if you did that, if you checked for the actor has tag, you would use an and boolean to also check this because this is important this this is what tells us that whether our line hits something or not so i'll just use uh, this let's get a branch 
it is automatically connected and if it is true what we're going to do is we're going to launch character this will add some velocity to our character in the z direction i'm going to go with 900 you can choose a different number for the z direction here most probably you will need a different number because i have set the gravity scale to 2.3 in my pro project instead of one so my project has higher gravity than normal so i'm going to use a hi higher number for you i think something uh, around 600 or even less might work and i'm going to tick these so we will override the x y and z velocity you could try not overriding the x y velocity and see how it goes but uh, to keep it simple i'm going to check this i'm going to override the x y velocity as well now if we did not hit anything if the line trace did not hit anything then we want to stop the volt timeline so let's get the volt timeline we could click here and say cut volt timeline or you could also get it from components here you could also get it from here get volt timeline same name as here and we will stop it So if our line did not hit anything we will stop the timeline now we need one more custom event so let's make a custom event here let's say this will be reset volt and here we will reset the variable that we changed so can volt will be true again let's also quickly update this timeline so double click the whole timeline to get into it and here the length is for how long we want our character to be able to climb and i want it to be 0 0.5 you could try with different numbers but my character will climb for at most 0 0.5 seconds at most 0 0.5 seconds okay so here in the event graph for example it will stop it if our line does not hit anything before 0 0.5 seconds or it will complete the timeline in 0 0.5 seconds all right so let's reset it and also trigger this before that let's select all of this and comment press c to comment and say vault slash wall climbing events this can be a nice wall climbing ability as well or it is i guess compile save now let's go to the jump logic so we'll go to the top that is where our jump is here so we have this event on landed if you have not set it up like this if you do not have double jump like that you could just get event on landed by typing here event on landed and you can directly connect the pin that i'm going to connect so we have this sequence here we will add a pin if you don't have it you could just directly connect it to reset volt now we also need to trigger volt right so in this jump action we're going to need uh, to trace the line and uh, check it using a branch and based on that we will either jump or vault so here first let's do the vault raise so we will drag right from here okay it automatically connects that way so after doing this vault raise we also need a branch so let's get a branch from here okay that way it automatically connects like that here let's check the hit boolean and we don't want to connect true here we want to connect the false here okay for true we are going to just do the vault that is the custom event that we made for vaulting and we don't want to connect this here so let's break the pin by holding alt and click so yeah okay make sure it is not connected to this two and node. all right 
so if this condition is false then we will do the do what we would normally do if it is true then we will vault compile save and let's see how it looks so if we go here for example and i'm going to press space bar if we can see this line trace here we hit something so yeah let's do it and we need to hit w okay we need to press w to go forward so we will press w like that and we're able to climb so we can see for example here right let's make a big wall and see if we can just spam the vault i'll press r to scale and i'll make it very big let's see what happens now all right so if i am here i'm going to press w and wait i need to be closer so yeah so i go up for almost 0 0.5 seconds and uh, not after that if, if i try to spam it what happens so i cannot go further than that all right so you could try adjusting these numbers inside uh, the launch velocity node here you can try adjusting this and see how you like it you can also try adjusting this number in the timeline and that is how we can make easy wall climbing or uh, easy vaulting function in Unreal Engine. Yeah, also let's organize our variable. So for, for example, here we can select the can vault and say category, it will be vaulting. So our variable is organized now. And also let's go to the vault trace function and I'm going to say draw debug type will be none. All right. Now let's check. Let me know what you think of this and I will see you in the next video.